We will recommence the session and the next item on our agenda is questions to the Minister for Health and Social Services and the first question is from Michelle Brown. Uh, when will the Welsh, Welsh NHS be operating as it was before the Covid pandemic? It is impossible to say when NHS Wales could operate as it did before the Covid-19 pandemic. None of us can say with certainty when the pandemic will end. We will, though, as I have stated previously, adapt NHS practice to taking hand of innovation and improvement during the pandemic. Thank you for that answer, Minister. Uh, hundreds of doctors in Wales say that important wider patient care has been neglected during the COVID-19 pandemic. As of yesterday, the number of people who have died in Wales from COVID-19 was 1,531. Each one of those is a very sad story of loss for the family concerned. But the drop in the, in the number of people starting vital cancer treatment is far higher. For example, in, in April alone, it was more than 5,000, and referrals to a single cancer pathway have halved since lockdown. Dr David Bailey, chair of the BMA's Welsh Council, has said, and I quote, many ill patients are not getting the care they need now. They are risking their conditions getting worse, and some even may die as a result. The research from the Royal College of Paediatrics and Health, Child Health shows that in the UK, more children have died from having treatment delayed during lockdown than have died from COVID-19, including nine from cancer, sepsis and metabolic disease. You seem happy to boast that you're preventing more deaths from COVID-19, but when will you be publishing figures of the number of people who have died from other diseases because of the restrictions you put on our NHS? Well, I think there are a couple of important points from the variety of comments. Obviously, I don't agree with every single comment the members made. But when it comes to cancer services, uh, we've already made clear that urgent cancer services were always available uh, during the pandemic, even when other parts uh, of the NHS were closed down uh, following my decision on the 13th of March. So we are looking to progressively restart services. We're going to restart screening services. The member and others will be aware they're being progressively restarted through the summer. It's part of the difficulty, though, that because of the pandemic, uh, a range of patients made choices to defer their treatment. Uh, that was in consultation with their treating clinicians. Uh, there were alternative treatment options provided. And I am concerned, of course, not just in cancer, but in a wide range of other areas, that we haven't seen the level of activity maintained. And what we need to do is both to rethink, as we are doing progressively, how the NHS services restart, but also to build confidence within the public that they could and should make access of the NHS services that are available, as indeed cancer services are. We're starting to see a recovery in those referrals. The, the, the second point, I think, Chloe, is the broader point made on excess deaths. I've always been interested in the excess deaths figures and what it means in terms of not just Wales, but every other part of the United Kingdom as we try to learn from the first phase of this pandemic. And I'm hopeful that before the end of next week, we'll have an interim report uh, on excess deaths with learning for us to not just take here in Wales, but to share with other parts of the UK, as I want to learn from practice in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, uh, as well as England. <laughs> 